Garnering global praise for her acting, Olivia Colman has been gracing British audiences with her presence for quite a long time. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our top 10 Olivia Colman performances. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at Coleman's most well-received roles from both her fantastic dramatic roles and gold standard comedic outings. Wow, just like that? Screw it, let's give it a go. I think it could work, maybe, in some weird way. I think maybe it might. Do you think we'll be unhappy? Very. <laughs> Put it there, partner. Number 10, Deborah Flowers, Flowers. A quirky dark comedy about the Flowers family, Coleman shows a different side of herself to audiences in this role. Oh, cheeky, what makes you say that? Due to the eccentricities of the family, each character feels completely different, and the audience is never quite sure what's really happening under the surface. The cast brilliantly sells this through amazing acting, and Coleman in particular shines as the matriarch of the family. Did you perhaps have a chat with Barry this morning? Maybe we, we should talk about that instead of playing with your father's magic stuff. Can't you see that I've got more important things on my mind right now? Like what? Although she makes some questionable decisions, Coleman as Deborah Flowers is instantly entertaining and one of the best parts of the series. Excuse me, I'm, I'm going to need that for next time. It's cardboard. I know. Well, I was going to recycle it, but... Oh, you know what, you just keep it. Well, I don't want it, it's rubbish. Well, then throw it away. Well, if anything, I'll recycle it. No. Number 9, Godmother, Fleabag. When it first premiered, Fleabag garnered critical acclaim for its unique writing style and performances. Coleman was nominated for a BAFTA for this role, and understandably so. Oh, you shouldn't have! Playing the titular character's godmother, she subtly tries to undermine Fleabag in every situation, and Coleman plays this perfectly. Seeming nice on the surface, but actually rude and quite selfish underneath, Godmother feels like someone you'd meet in real life. I'm the luckiest thing to have you. <laughs> and, um... They're natural. <laughs> Coleman and Phoebe Waller-Bridge perfectly sell the awkwardness and strange power dynamics of having to deal with unlikable family members. What are you doing? I'm just a little family tradition. Oh, what odd fun. What are the rules? Oh, thank God. Number eight, Hotel Manager, The Lobster. A rather abstract film, The Lobster is centered around the strange premise that if someone cannot find love, they will be turned into an animal. You need to choose a companion that is a similar type of animal to you. A wolf and a penguin could never live together, nor could a camel and a hippopotamus. That would be absurd. Think about it. Coleman has a supporting role in the film as the manager of the hotel that the main characters stay at. Her role is far from the focus of the film, but every scene with her is immediately entertaining and memorable. Changing the grey, changing the blue, scarlet for me, scarlet for you. Going from seemingly kind to aggressive and mean, Coleman's acting sells the oppressive nature of the film's hotel and society as a whole. If I were in your shoes, I would not be ogling the naked woman but the horse. I'm sure that horse was once a weak and cowardly man just like you. Number 7, Alexandra Smallbone, Rev. Starring alongside Tom Hollander, Coleman plays the wife of the titular reverend. Actually, I do sort of have a present for you. Aha, see, I know you. Hope you like it. I'm sure I will. I'm pregnant. This programme had a unique blend of drama, comedy and surprising nuance, so it's no surprise that Coleman's performances had all these traits too. Picking up a BAFTA nomination for her supporting role, it's easy to see why she is such a celebrated actress. The programme interestingly delved into the lives of reverends and their families. Having tender moments, but also moments of doubt with her husband, Alexandra never fails to surprise and delight. Oh, well, in that case, I think she's completely brilliant. I point her immediately. Number 6, Sally Owen, 2012. This funny series demonstrates some of the actress's best comedic work. Coleman plays Sally Owen in a BAFTA award-winning portrayal, a woman who is hopelessly in love with her boss. I mean, there are other hotels, obviously. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, all over the place. Shot in a mockumentary style, the show brilliantly captures the awkwardness and struggles of the people trying to organise the London 2012 Olympics. In the meantime, if there's anything at all you need, ask Sally, because she is basically running the Olympics. OK. I'm not really, actually. Sure. Coleman yet again shines in the subtleties that she brings to the role, desperately trying to win the love of Hugh Bonneville's Ian Fletcher. If you're looking for a laugh, 
this is definitely one to watch. Yes, you see, the thing is, with a lot of them, they sleep six or eight. Well, yes, or of course. It's actually quite hard to find ones who just, um, just... Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Number five, Sophie, Peep Show. In one of Coleman's longest lasting roles, she portrays Mark's main love interest, Sophie. Have you had a drink? Why am I not allowed to? Mark's booze patrol. Going from simply the object of Mark's affections to the mother of his child, Sophie is an integral part of the program. Coleman expertly portrays Sophie's disbelief at Mark's weirder traits and provides a different source of humour to the series as a whole. It's broken. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I suppose, just to be on the safe side, that morning after pill, you, you could... Uh -huh, maybe, yeah. There's quite a lot of powerful hormones in those things, so I might just... Uh... What? Over the years, Sophie grows as a character and becomes part of the madness that makes Peep Show feel so unique. This performance is truly a highlight of Coleman's career. Oh, like a life support machine, Mark. Well, <laughs> thank you, Sophie. Except instead of giving life, you suck it all out of people! Uh-huh. Number four, Angela Bear, the night manager. A complex and tense spy thriller, this program truly captivated audiences when it first aired. Red flags will fly. Well, so bury the request in a pile of slurry. Do a random sweep on all Brits living offshore. Throw Riverhouse off the scent. Make us look like a bunch of amateurs looking for a needle in a haystack. Do you think you can do that? Yes. Go on in. Although Tom Hiddleston and Hugh Laurie received much of the acclaim, Olivia Coleman's role was integral and masterfully acted. Playing the intelligence officer that recruits Hiddleston's Jonathan Pine, Coleman brings the role to life. Rex, Richard Roper is selling arms to the youngest Hamid brother in the heart of Cairo, in the middle of what we hope is the Arab Spring. Isn't that exactly what we've been looking for? Staying on the sidelines for part of the series, she also gets some action scenes that really differentiate this role from others. It's no wonder that Coleman was nominated for an Emmy and won a Golden Globe for her performance. What happened to Sophie Alakan makes us all involved. What happened in Cairo shames me to the bottom of my soul. I know you can't forgive the man who did that. The question is, what are you prepared to do about it? Number three, Hannah, Tyrannosaur. Who hit you? I had a fool. A much darker role in her filmography, Tyrannosaur sees Olivia playing a victim of abuse, who forms a relationship with a troubled man. This film and her role reflect the harshness and darkness of life but also retains some elements of hope. He's in pain, Lord. I believe you've brought him here to me to help him find his way. Thanks to this acting turn, Coleman was able to show audiences that she was able to pull off dramatic roles as well as her more familiar comedic fare. Truly being able to bring life to any role, Coleman's performance in this film makes for an intense and emotional watch. What's wrong? What are you looking at? Who the f are you to judge me? You know nothing about me. Number two, Queen Anne, the favourite. Did you just look at me? Did you? Look at me. Look at me. How dare you? Close your eyes. The role that brought Coleman into the international spotlight, this performance earned praise from countless critics, with the actress winning a Golden Globe, a BAFTA, and her first Academy Award. Although accompanied on screen by Hollywood leading ladies Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz, Coleman more than holds her own and dominates each scene she is in as a cantankerous queen. Blaring, biting satire with moments of genuine emotion, she sheds light on a perhaps less talked about monarch with all the grace that her character's gout-ridden body could give. None for the queen. What? Well, you cannot have hot chocolate. Your stomach, the sugar inflames it. Abigail, hand me that cup. Do not. I'm sorry, I do not know what to do. Number one, Ellie Miller, Broadchurch. Co-starring alongside David Tennant, Coleman brings her absolute best to Broadchurch. So, do you think we'll get them all together? Well. He didn't on Sandbrook. Long have you been waiting to bring that up? I haven't. The stream of mysteries that make up the programme are always enamouring, but the relationship between the two leads is truly the main draw. No, he didn't. He didn't. We have him in custody. Coleman as Miller has both emotionally heavy and tender moments to portray, and she nails these all completely. Why? Lee's my husband. Oh, God. Yeah. 
Her performance in the first series won her a BAFTA, and deservedly so. She's both entertaining and sympathetic in every scene she is in, and sometimes that sympathy brings crushingly heartbreaking results. I've always loved you. But you were 11! I can't explain it. Can I see Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.